don't get too used to that blue sky and green grass over yeah. there <laughs> this morning. It's not the prettiest picture as we start off our day. I know we have a live camera that I was just looking at here. This is Graham downtown this morning. Wet roads, gray skies. Raindrops on the camera. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a mess. And you know, it, we've got those Christmas decorations up, but it hasn't felt very Christmassy lately. I know. And, well, that changes today. It's actually changing right now. Here's a look at radar and satellite where we've got some scattered showers, mostly light blue on this map, but occasionally we're getting yellows and oranges indicating moderate rain, especially in areas like Randolph County. That'll be where we get the most rain as we head through the next couple of hours. The foothills getting a nice healthy dose of rain here scattered showers in the mountains at this point, but some more consistent rain in the foothills moving towards the triad and the triad has some nice rain as well as we're starting off the later part of your morning here. Temperatures are falling rapidly. We started off this morning at 62 degrees in Greensboro. We've already fallen down to 48. We continue to fall over the next couple of hours here as this cooler air as part of the cold front that brought us the rain continues to move in. 52 degrees in Winston-Salem, 40 in Galax right now, 46 in Mount Airy. As we head through the next couple of hours, we're at 46 degrees in the triad by 3 p.m. By 6 p.m., 43, it's going to feel very chilly and brisk, especially because we've also got winds gusting up to 20 miles an hour in the triad as well as the foothills in the mountains more brisk because we've got cooler temperatures to start 37 by 3 p.m 33 by 6 p.m and winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour so it'll definitely feel like wintry a little blustery in the mountains today as we're heading through the next couple of hours you can see that consistent rain starts to pull back as that front passes through but some moderate to heavy rain still possible in the southeastern parts of our forecast area as we head into the afternoon down to scattered lingering showers not near Nearly as consistent as it has been throughout the day yesterday, overnight, and this morning, but a couple more showers possible. And then by the time we head into the evening, we dry out and we cool down considerably. Temperatures falling down below freezing overnight. And that means that if you've got areas that don't drain very well, well, we've gotten a substantial amount of rain today and temperatures fall down to below freezing overnight. So you could have some slick spots on the roads and on sidewalks, especially tomorrow. Just something to be aware of and think about before you head out the door. Now, as far as additional rainfall is concerned, we picked up about a half of an inch in most spots already. Now we're going to be getting about a tenth of an inch more in the mountains of the foothills. The Piedmont between a quarter of an inch to potentially up to half an inch in some spots. Again, especially in our southeastern parts of our forecast area, the highest rain totals till to come. As we're looking at the next few days, dry Monday and Tuesday, but then more rain for Wednesday. So some additional rain and we desperately need it. Of course, we've been talking about drought monitor and how far behind we are compared to our average rainfall amount so far for the past few weeks and for the past few months, really. So we could definitely use the rain. That's our only other rain chance in the seven day forecast. But I wanted to point out what's happening today. Of course, it looks a little weird, so just wanted to explain. We've already hit our high for today. That was 62 degrees. And now for the rest of the day, we continue falling all the way down to 37 before midnight. Ooh, cold just thinking about it. Thank you, Jacqueline. Coming up next, helping local businesses in a unique and festive way. We'll introduce you to the elf who is